Hey everyone, your favorite designers in the house. For those of you who have not met me before, my name is Neelay Patel and I'm a designer here at Jesse James Beads. My job is to bring you fun, cool, easy, inspirational projects for your everyday jewelry and creative um, wearable art making. <laughs> it's easy to make the wearable art because everything of Jesse James Beads is a piece of art. I'm telling you, they have some of the most beautiful components and beads I've ever seen. Now, I hope you were able to catch last Saturday's project. Let me show you what we made. We designed this absolutely fabulous earring set and we got out our E6000 and some pretty sparklies and we totally glued these little guys on. Now, what I didn't get to show you guys um, in that demonstration is that I did put a little rhinestone at the very end to hide my little, um, my head pin. So I think it just kind of completes the design. Um, I really love the addition of this little heart. Gives it some dimension and just a really fun color palette. It's very fresh, very spring, if I do say so myself. So if you want to learn how to make this, you can catch us on two different places. Okay, the first being the Jesse James Beats website. So just go to www.jessejamesbeats.com and you will see a link in the upper right hand side that says video tutorials and you can have uh, this tutorial and many many more on there that we have been making and the second place that you can find us is on YouTube so just go to youtube.com and check us out um, uh, just type us in <laughs> Jesse James Speeds and you'll definitely find us on there so all things great tutorial wise we keep things up to date um, very fresh fun ideas so I'm excited about today's project. Um, I have this cool little component. I'm gonna actually pan down to my table so you can see everything that I'm working with, but isn't this just absolutely fun? Little bird cage. Such a weird thing that I would never imagine on a necklace. Um, and maybe some of you have seen this, I don't really know, but I certainly haven't, so I'm thrilled to be using it today to design something quick and fun and easy, of course. And I also wanted to show you guys next uh, Saturday's project. We are on every Thursday and every Saturday. Um, Thursdays at six o'clock central time or 7 p.m. Eastern and Saturday's wake and make session with me in the morning and that's at 10 o'clock central or 11 Eastern time. So uh, again, bringing you fun, fresh ideas. So with that being said, let me pan down to my table and I'm gonna show you next Saturday's project before I talk about today's. Woo, I'm so excited about this. All right, let's do this. Now these are some of the materials that I'm gonna be using today, but I kind of um, don't wanna talk about that immediately. I want to hop into next Saturday's materials. So check this out. I have some really fun stuff here on my table. I'm just gonna adjust my camera a little bit. There we go, uh, little boy, Blue, I believe is what this is called. Um, it is a gorgeous butterfly pendant and it is shiny. Look at all those rhinestones. Ah, oh, so delicious. And it's got a top drill hole. It goes all the way through the bottom. So this will be a fun little component to work with. We've also got this beautiful chain. It has lots of dangles on it. So this is gonna be so much fun to play with, of course. And then we have this fun tassel. Now, this is not just a tassel. This is like a mega big tassel. <laughs> it is very long. And I believe this is the whip it tassel. So I have whipped my hand with it and hurt myself. Um, so you know, it's really like quality leather that we're working with here. So fabulous. So this will be a really fun project just because the materials are very unusual um, and perfect for the springtime. So we'll put that aside. Again, get your creative juices going and maybe give you a head start on your shopping. And I want to talk about today's materials. So of course we have this beautiful birdcage that I just showed you guys. Um, really fun. There's, it does open up and there are a couple different colors. Let me see if I can find the other one. Oh, here it is. There's also a, a antique bronze um, color here as well. So that's fun. Um, if you're going for a different look, you can always do that. I don't know where this blue mark came from. I think I had my pen out <laughs> and was writing earlier. Um, 
Why, what, I, oh, I want to show you this Lampert bead. Oh, check that out. Isn't that just gorgeous? Beautiful blues and teals and purples in this. So I love this bead. I definitely want to keep that in my little color palette. So let's just put this out to the side here. Um, I have this chain. Now this is really fun. This comes in a few different colors. I've got more of a turquoisey color, but I know there's a lime punch um, as well that is a little bit more vibrant than this. So again, just depends on what look you're going for, but I think this is fabulous. This is a handmade chain. Um, all these little links and beads are strung by hand, so that's really, really cool, really beautiful. So I can't wait to use that. And we, of course, are going to continue using our shag tassels because I just think that these are so fantastic and fun. And I'll tell you guys a little secret. So I was perusing on the website today, and there may or may not be a deal involving these particular tassels. So I highly recommend you guys check that out. I think the word free is involved, but I don't know. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> so these are my materials. And now I kind of want to design some of this together. And what I kind of, I actually like what I have on my table here. So I kind of want to maybe put that there and put this underneath it. Let's see if I can get a good camera view. And maybe put this on top and then have this kind of out from it. So if we're looking at it at a diagonal angle here, it's kind of looking like that. So I just had this laid out on my table and I really like that. So I think I'm going to put that together like that. Um, the first thing I think I'm going to do is figure out a way to attach this tassel to the birdcage. And there are holes at the bottom, so that's that's good. Now I have to figure out how to attach it. So it looks like if I open it up and maybe put a jump ring through these holes, I bet I could get that to work. So here I just have a 6 or 7 millimeter jump ring. Um, it's in a dark gunmetal color, but really you could use anything because it's going to be hidden. And I want to use a couple pliers for this. So here I've got my Zuron pliers. And I'm going to use my crimpers, which are also doubling as chain nose pliers. For those of you who have kept in touch with my tutorials, you know how much I love to use these. Because not only are they crimp pliers, but they do have a chain nose tip at, their, at the very top there. So it makes it super handy to work with. Um, and who doesn't love multi-purpose pliers because it saves us having to get 47 different pliers, right? So there I've just opened it up and let's see if I could slip this in. Oh, very, very easily actually. So once I have it in there, I think I'm going to close it because I want to kind of put that seam on the inside just to make sure that my tassel won't ever come out. And I think I want to open up my tassel and attach that to the jump ring. There we go. So that way it'll kind of just dangle at the bottom and give a really different look. That's already so much fun. So cool. Okay. So now I kind of want to attach my bead up here. So I think I'm going to need some wire. I'm just going to use some 22 gauge. Um, this is a dark steel annealed wire. Really a gunmetal craft wire will work just perfectly. Um, I have these cutters that I want to use because I'm in love with them. Uh, I'm hoping Jesse James Beads will carry it here soon because they are double, they have a double lining of the pliers inside of what it does here, if I could show you. I was trying to look for it, but you could see there. Um, that is so that the wire won't fling out whenever you cut it. And if you guys have tuned into these videos, you know how many bloopers I have. <laughs> and sometimes these things can hit my eye, but check that out. It doesn't go anywhere except for the table. So I love that aspect about them. And they are super industrial, so I love them so much. Uh, but what I want to do is create a wrapped loop for this so that it's super secure and won't come out ever again. So I'm just going to grab my round nose pliers. I just made a 90 degree angle and I'm going to quickly make a wire wrapped loop out of this um, and then attach my little link here to it. I think on this side I may have to make a bigger one. 
because that is not going to fit, <laughs> unfortunately. So let me move it further down into the pliers and see if that'll work. You never really know with these things until you actually do them. So this might actually work. Okay, let's see if I could string that through. You know me, I like to make my loops as small and discreet as possible so that they're completely hidden, but sometimes our materials are a little bit bigger than we anticipate. So, here we go. I'm just going to clamp it with my pliers and then just wrap this little end around the stem of my wrapped loop. And what I can do is use the pliers to nudge everything in place once it's wrapped. So that looks pretty good. Okay, I am just going to trim this. There we go. It did not hit my eye. <laughs> Thank goodness. And I think I'm going to put this guy in. He should just fall right over that, so that's great. Everything's attaching together. And now what I want to do is put another wrap loop at the top. So. I'm going to create another 90 degree angle and work my wrap loop around. There we go. That way I get to attach my I get to attach my chain to this beautiful bead here. There we go. I'm just going to open it up a little bit with my pliers just like that. And what I want to do before anything is find the center of my chain. And so I'm just going to put the two ends together and then work my finger down until I reach the middle and I think I'm going to just try and slide that loop into Oops, there we go into that there we go alrighty press all this together and finish out my loop so again you could just use any um, craft wire this is also 22 gauge wire and I think it's just perfect enough to do this. Anything thicker would be a tad bit more difficult to work with, especially with the dark steel and yield wire, but I think craft wire will actually be a lot easier. I just happen to have none of it on hand in the color that I want. Um, so I indeed need to go shopping myself. So I have a little bit sticking out there, but what I can do is just use these pliers to nudge that in and we're in good shape. So, wow, this is already turning out pretty fabulous. Um, though, two things. One, I need to attach the clasp in two. This looks a little empty, so kind of what I was thinking is um, I didn't have a bird on hand, sadly enough, uh, but I do have some crystal beads that I think I kind of want to throw in there. And what's cool is if you even alternate the colors of these to kind of complement um, some of the beads that we're using or other shag tassels that you wanted to put in this, um, it just kind of makes a little bit of a nicer finish than um, putting nothing in there. <laughs> so I'm going to stick with the crystals. I think they're really shiny and pretty, so go with that. And lastly, I think I want to attach a clasp to this. So I kind of had this little clasp sitting out here um, that I think I'm going to attach. And I had some smaller jump rings somewhere amongst my crazy pile of stuff that I'm searching through. Uh, let's see. Well, they have disappeared. <laughs> Love it when that happens. Thought I had them setting up, but that's all right. I could use my bigger jump rings without... Oh, wait, I found them. Haha. -ha. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to dump a couple of those out. You can use any jump rings, of course. I'm just going to... I didn't use the, the 7 millimeter ones. They're, I feel like from a visual standpoint, they're really big, so I don't want to do that. These are a little bit smaller, um, closer to the size of the loops that are... I'm trying to find the seam here. There we are. Uh, these are smaller so that I think it kind of matches the size of how that's supposed to look. But I just pop that in. The chain is already pre-made, so it makes everything super easy to put together. Um, so I think you'll have a good time doing this too. And certainly if I can do this, you guys can do this too. Trust me. All right, but I do enjoy designing all this stuff. It is quite fun to pick out materials and see what's going to go together from week to week. 
So fun and fabulous. Oh, there we go. Here we are. Okay, we're all done. Just a quick and easy necklace. So you don't have to put too much technique or effort into what some of these materials are because they do the talking themselves. So let me turn this around real quick and show you guys what I just made. So fun. Okay, so we just made this beautiful design using our fabulous little bird cages filled with crystal beads. All Jesse James beads, of course, this beautiful lampwork bead. Isn't that just fun? And the chain, and of course, the shag tassel, which there is a special online offer, I believe, for these guys. So do check out Jesse James beads for that. So fun little piece to throw on, I think. All right. If you love this demonstration, check us out in a couple different places. First is www.jessejamesbeads.com. And we have tons of things and activities going on on the website, of course, but you can check out these video tutorials on the very, um, it is the right hand side link that says video tutorials, um, tons of demonstrations on there that I, yours, yours truly is doing. And then um, definitely check out and subscribe to youtube.com, search for Jesse James Beads and we will be on there. Lastly, if you love me, you can find me in a couple different places. Firstly, I have a brand called Beads and Bubbles. It looks like this, all spelled out. I'm on Facebook as well as Instagram. And I also, for those of you who are um, who haven't figured it out yet, <laughs> I just picked up a brand called Silver Silk and more. So I'll be the distributor for that. And you could bet that you will see a lot of Jesse James Beads on that brand as well. So. I will be on Silver Silk and more if you want to friend me on Facebook um, as well. So lots of activities going on. We have lots of fun stuff at Jesse James Beats going on. And please catch me this Saturday, 10 a.m. in the morning for some wake and make. I'll be drinking coffee from a Jesse James Beats mug. We may even do a little toast now that I think about it. That might be kind of fun. So until next time, keep it creative, keep it fun. And keep it Jesse James Beads. Why would you need anything else? <laughs> All right, guys. I love you guys so much. So I'll catch you soon.